That's up supposed to be silent. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, better. Um <laughs> so yeah, uh so so I guess first of all, uh what what did you think went wrong? <laughs> ah. Oh, um I, I think um uh, the uh, the top left. I, mm -hmm. uh, I had great trouble to find uh, a good direction, and, and um, I felt I I pushed too uh, too hard on on uh, your weaknesses there, and um, finally you've got a, a huge, uh, a pretty good center influence, and then on the in the uh, in the lower left. Um, I should have uh, I should have reacted directly to your to your move um, because when I when I got cut off uh, um, that was uh, it was just reinforcing your your, your center influence and um, mm. yeah I think yeah I think the top left and my uh, tunuki to uh, o uh, seventeen okay uh, uh, yeah well. Trouble. All right. So, uh, oh, 017, I think the game was already uh, not in a good position before that. So, uh, I didn't think oh, 017 was bad at, le at least. Uh, um, so, for me, the, the, for me, the main corporate is actually this move here. C10. Oh, uh, just... Can you see? Oh, yeah, yeah, E10. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was uh, too, too much. Yeah, yeah. Agree. so it is. It it yeah. would be okay maybe if I would care about C8, but I don't. So because A is yeah. just such a light stone, like if we if we just say uh, I I get the moves, uh, I get the moves here, my maybe, and you you capture this. I'm I'm quite happy with that kind of trade. If you capture it this way, because I can still get some end yeah, here yeah, later yeah. still. In center, and I can even maybe reduce from the outside with the peep at e6 and uh, d7 looming. So you really don't get much. I also can still get this one probably if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, so that yeah. c8 stone for, from the start was not that important. So that's why c10 was just because the main focus here is the top left. A is now very strong, so it's only about b versus c. That's all that matters. Yeah. So even though it's painful, I yeah. think you need to now just play something like this and then this and uh, yeah, then at least your one group is strong and yes, my group on the left is also strong, but my t at least maybe you now you can later get some counterplay on the top side or maybe I need to spend a move on the top side now and your group is already yeah. relatively strong. So that way you can, it's still not a great result, but I think this way it's still a game. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what What do you think about uh, one at um, e eleven? At e eleven. Uh, yeah, possible. Maybe, maybe also better if I need to defend this way. Mm -hmm. Can be true. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe then you can even force some more with this, and then just. Well, probably you still have to play this. You You can't really. I don't think you can play this one. This is maybe ah oh, maybe you can. Uh, tough to say. <laughs> you might need to give up a sweet a few stones, but at this point it's not really anything big anymore mm -hmm. anyway. Like so, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah maybe maybe this would have been. But uh, the direction in general should be from your weak group in this case, I think. Yeah. Um, of course you I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I miss uh, I misjudged um, the value of uh, C8. Yeah. So the value of C8 here for me is actually just that I have some support for my group. Um, I don't know if you saw my game versus BenQ. <laughs> uh, my second um, one. Oh All no, right. I haven't. I haven't yet. Yeah. But because there was a very similar situation, it was probably exactly this actually, and here. The way you can, I mean, you, there's a different variation you can do, but if you want to play this way, 
um, which is slightly worse for black, but it's okay. Then the way to go about it here is to actually push a few more times from behind here, and then you can counter this. Or you can press it oh, down, yeah, I think, okay. yeah, something like that. Yeah. But because in the game I already had a stone there, the same tactic here, actually this one is also, I think, a move that AI sometimes suggested, but if you play this, now this is a, little, a, a lot weaker because I already have this C8 so, um, stone. Maybe this is still possible, maybe this is still what you need to play from this position onwards, but you first need to care for your own weak group and make sure that I can't uh, counter attack it because well this turn is shape wise is so huge yeah yeah because yeah because of all the i mean you can't really harm it because of this cut this is just boof. uh mm. yeah <laughs> not not fun <laughs> mm, not that you need to necessarily defend all those stones but yeah just if we say you need every stone your shape sucks really hard after that um so what you can do instead here um in this case, which is also just the best move, Joseki wise is to play here now. And uh, you are, like if white, if let, of course white doesn't ignore, but you are threatening to just turn here and capture these more or less, or at least get a very strong outside this way. Uh, or alternatively, I guess you, yeah. Yeah, at, at, at the very least, white wants to prevent this, and so white usually plays this. Then you play here to threaten to capture uh, with b6 spin, and white connects. And then you can just play a move like this to protect your cut on the outside. You e16 yeah, cut. Yeah. And you see, this is a lot better result. Yeah, letter now. Mm. L letter? Yeah, uh, with uh, uh, white can't push in with. Um, oh yeah, but e sixteen uh, e and uh, cut at uh, at f. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but even if the ladder didn't work, then you can still sacrifice in some uh, variation. And also, you don't. Yeah, like you can, for example, maybe you could Atari here and then just sacrifice this way, maybe. So that could be a plan. All right. Um. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so so that's just light shape. If you don't like all this, uh, a move like this one is also completely fine. The big difference with this one is now you gave me the corner, sure, but you now have only that one weak group on the outside that is already quite far out in this direction, and this variation yeah. actually does threaten to play C10, C10 next. Yeah. In some variations, maybe in this case you already want to do this because maybe you don't care about one and do you just fight on like this. So that could be an option. But in in my opinion, if you just play here and white has to defend here, then this is already like your group is fine and you can I don't know care about your group here next or something <laughs> or just play Fuseki here. Yeah. So in this case, yeah, the, this in general is the better variation, but also especially in this case, I feel like, yeah, the the way you did it in the game, it's uh, very painful to handle. Mm, yeah. Because you call, I mean, you took my corner, but it's really not that many points, and the outside fight is so much more important. Hmm. Yeah, G16 was a very nice Tsuji. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I learned that Tsuji more or less, well, not from this Joseki, but I, I, I remember I knew it a few years ago already, but this Joseki really solidified that in my memory. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so, so then when we arrived at this point now, here it really shines. I mean, this exchange just loses you a liberty too, and now it really shi um, now it really shines that I don't care about C nine <laughs> or yeah, C eight yeah, rather. Yeah. yeah, and I mean yeah. here I could have been more brutal, but uh, I don't want didn't want to be completely game ending. I could have just captured those, but also this is such a such a big uh, mm -hmm. move here, as you saw in the yeah. game, like. You, all of these actions, C10, C10 suffered because you invaded too early, and then because C10 suffered, now actually this whole black group ended up suffering, and I got a lot of yeah. corner profit, a lot of outside profit, and yeah, yeah, yeah. 
probably this move is also just too slow. I should have just either played here or ask here maybe directly once or ask this one directly once maybe. I don't know, but yeah. Um, at this point, you had to live very small mm -hmm. twice with uh, two groups, once in my corner, which was Josiki ish yeah. but also once on this side, and you still have a weak group in the center. So, yeah, uh, I am not surprised mm -hmm. that it says white plus 30 at this point. White plus 30 at this point? Yeah. Holy smokes, okay. Yeah, just because, you know, what did you accomplish, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You you took very few points so far, and you have a group that is near death in the middle, and I have all the influence. I, if you if you look at this middle group as a liability, then you could basically say I have an all uh, board whole board uh, wall here. Mm, yeah, it's, it's not quite true, but I mean, if you imagine I play something like this here next, then it's very hard for to imagine how black can prevent me just having all of the influence in this direction. And yeah. since you've got as compensation only like, I don't know, not even 10 points on the left side. Uh, and yeah. And only have maybe the top right corner approached and a cornerstone in the bottom right. It's just not enough uh, compensation by any means. Mm. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, actually, also uh, one one little, little detail here is uh, a15 is kind of a bad exchange um, because if you don't do it and we play the same, I don't know, we we play this and you actually you do answer here. Now, if I uh, if I surround this and try to kill this, you actually have a co here with this throw in. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I take, then of course that's the co I just mentioned, because I can't connect, well I can, but then it's still a co. Or maybe it's not even, because now I can just connect here. And okay, I guess it's still a co, but you know what I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's not, not pleasant. And if I want to prevent the co, I can try to extend down here, which works often, but in this case you can just counter Atari and play this one, and now, yeah. <laughs> It depends on the liberties here, but uh, I, I have three liberties, so probably this still is a co like this. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's co like this because, of course, now we, this co is a connection, so white can't take the outside liberty. Also, you can still now, after you got this, you can still get this Atari and this Atari and make some more shape on the outside mm. and attack this one at A. I know all the numbers don't make it easy to see, but yeah, at E9. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. E9, yeah. Yeah, so you you denied yourself all those options by uh, exchanging this Atari, which you could have done any time anyway, so. Um, okay. Yeah, that was, I was very happy when you played this uh, in, in terms of uh, RG because, well, I didn't have to worry about anything anymore after this. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how much lo A15 loses, maybe the co is too much anyway, but at least it gives you some out for your middle stones that you don't, that you can sacrifice them with a bit more of a chance to actually profit from the sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, but after this, like after you got cut in here, um, you probably, yeah, this Hane too is shape wise, there's this this the the weaknesses here make this honey usually just not a good move mm, yeah just uh oh five yeah if you want to defend your shape probably just this one yeah or or i would also yeah. peep here first and and then defend your shape or you can mm -hmm. also actually uh you can probably add even tinuki from this point but uh this is of course valuable to keep some pressure on the white group but in general, this group, you can also still make a base uh, like this. And mm. I, I purposely fully played M4 because my focus was not on this area, but on this area, as you saw in the game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, kind of what happened here. And then the cut here. Yeah. Probably, I think, uh, maybe at this point already, you maybe needed to just give up those two stones. Maybe even Atari one more time and just... Give yourself on the bottom side some uh, some shape, which also looks into this area here, which also helps your group mm -hmm. here. 
So maybe this is what it was a better choice because in the end you never got to use that up outside weakness anyway. Like maybe you needed to uh, play this one right away now. And then you can at least maybe make some, I don't know, maybe harass the right side a little bit later with it. Not not quite yet, but uh, maybe later there is something here that you can do uh, with this three stones. I don't know. At least you have some more RG you can use. But in the yeah, game, yeah. Real, here also you didn't need to respond to K2, I think. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure either. <laughs> so I, that's why I played it to make... Yeah, yeah probably three. not, yeah. Yeah, and I I, I I reckon L15 was maybe already a bit, uh, well, trying to catch up somehow. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, um, because, of course, yeah, the was... shape here is very cuttable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I just fed, um, so, yeah, I really fed behind. And, uh, yeah, I thought I uh, uh, I'd make something, uh, something to work. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could just defend passively here, and it would still be completely. I mean, it would be fine for me, of course. But this, I wanted to play this out of principle to say uh, M17, I can, I can sell. If for for that yeah. I get a, a a huge attack on this group and a huge center, and I mean that's kind of what happened in the game. I even this move was probably also a bit too slow. You, I think, I think you need to try this, and then you can probably break out here. Like you can make use of the fact that I have some very weak shape on the outside. And maybe this way, like I don't want to cut here because that shape just sucks. And mm -hmm. in some cases I would even say that now, I don't know, if, if I exaggerated this, this, then maybe all of a sudden there's some counter attack on my own group here. Probably not because mm -hmm. you don't have that many liberties, but it's it's a it's a thing that you can maybe do as a comeback mechanic. But yeah, losing center here and then getting completely surrounded here now, I don't think there was anything really left. You you, you tried with the cut here later. Um, but yeah, probably this one was also a little bit greedy, but yeah, you tried here with the cut, but then there was this RG anyway, so yeah, that was a bit painful. Yeah. But you can't even you can't even connect. You have so many, so few liberties. I probably can just Tenuki here already. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I read myself just as dead if I if I had connected. Mm. Uh, also, uh, yeah, you need to play here <laughs> to keep sending. Or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yes. This gains you one more point, but uh, you get basically one point in reverse center here. If you, so, it's one point in Gote is not really worth it. So better to play mm -hmm. this and later let white or yeah later let white play this, which also reduces white's outside liberty. So it's not even guaranteed that white gets to play it anytime soon. Has to have, mm -hmm. have to have to be careful with white as well with all the outside cuts, which is also why later then at this point here I just pushed here and gave you the whole top right and yeah that's what that was also huge of course the top this this turn here at uh, R two, but at this point mm -hmm. it didn't really matter. It was just some. End game. Though speaking speaking about end game, um, yeah. Do you know the value of B two? Uh, no, I don't actually. Uh, so, so the value of B two is uh, is uh, five and a third now. <laughs> okay. So it was probably still bigger to defend at M nineteen now, because M nineteen was three points in reverse uh, in in reverse center. So I got these three points in center, and then also got to connect here. Yeah. So maybe uh, probably this one was still bigger, but yeah, uh, just just as an FRI, not not super important for the review, but um, yeah. I don't know at this point. Probably, yeah, just some just just some I minor end game like this one is probably a little bit better, and at the very end you probably could have get gotten one more point, uh, with. Uh, this move here. <laughs> okay. And but no, not like like this. And then this, and then we fight the co for one point where you don't lose anything because well, if white wins the co, then white just gains the point at d1 back. And if you win the co, mm -hmm. you win one point, and you have 
quite a few co-threads, while I don't have that many co-threads, I think. Like, you have so many in the middle. Seems like mm -hmm. you could win this. But yeah, like, just just some just some neat little endgame details, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's always where I come to. So so the, the yeah, so the, the most important part of this game I think is understanding why C ten is such an basically game ending overplay in this case. <laughs> Especially with the, yeah. the the way you try to still leverage C ten. It just was too much for your top side group. And C, yeah, yeah. and and the fact and and understanding that C eight is light and doesn't really matter at this point. I think those are yeah, the, yeah. The, the the main lesson from this game. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, choosing a different Joseki in the top left, but if you don't know it, then you don't know it. So <laughs> that's just uh, that's more detail work. While C eight C ten, I feel like is really st strategic uh, knowledge <laughs> that you can use. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now E eleven C looks so so much better now than uh, than uh, than C ten. Yeah. All right. Um, are there any more questions left? Um, yeah, I think uh, you. Uh, yeah, we you, you covered pretty much all all of it. Mm. It's, uh, there's uh, quite uh, quite some study material. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, one last thing I forgot to mention. I just noticed uh, is uh, you. I, I I noticed you didn't uh, want to. Uh, you avoided the Josiki in the bottom left. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but the the way to uh, handle these two stones is actually to just Tenuki. Uh, it's it's a little bit better. You can play e4. It's not a mistake, but you it's also not necessary yet. You kind of okay. strengthen white shape, and you're not really. I mean, you at least you shouldn't be afraid of anything like this because uh, you this also hurts white's corner quite a bit, and also the outside stone. So white mm -hmm. really doesn't want to cut there too early. So if you played this to not to yeah. get to not get cut, then uh, it's not necessary at this point. But uh, yeah. Of course, if you do want to really attack C8 and exchange this, then you can do that. But then you probably should attack C8 immediately, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, not yeah. not yeah, yeah, I mean, this one is probably still a great move. But yeah, that's also why another reason why I pinned that. Not only because it's my favorite move, but because here it just made sense to me additionally. <laughs> mm, yeah. So, yeah, that was the last little tidbit I had about this uh, game. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I was just about to ask uh, where... where... Uh, where you should have played instead of uh, d15, actually, if I should have uh, counter mm. um the uh, the c8 stone, uh, yeah. But I think d15 is completely fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just a different game. Mm -hmm. Right. Then uh, thank you for the game. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. It was uh, it was a fun game. And uh, have a good have a good rest of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You too. Thanks for the game. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.